Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I'd like to tell you about today's saint, who was a member of the religious order to which I belong, the Jesuits. His name is Peter Claver, and he was a Spaniard who became a missionary to South America in the early 1600s. God brought him there to perform a great work of mercy by ministering to the African people who were kidnapped, transported across the ocean, and sold into slavery. He met every slave ship that arrived in port and immediately entered into the depths of the ship to tend the sick and dying. He baptized many before they died and taught others about the faith, preparing them for baptism. At his canonization, the lowest estimate given for the number he baptized was 300,000 people. And in between ships, he met the merchants, slave owners, and officials trying to convince them to end their unjust practices. A few years ago, another Jesuit, Father John Hardin, said the following about St. Peter Claver. Love is shown more in deeds than in words. Love does not mean that I like to do what I'm doing. Love means that I do it, and the doing is your love. The resistance, the revulsion, the dislike, Peter Claver had all of that. He would admit more than once that it took all his human power to penetrate that den of stench when he climbed into the holds of those slave ships. We need that. And that's why God every so often raises a saint like this to teach us who can be so finicky, so particular in our affluent United States, so spoiled. Remember that statement revealed by the Holy Spirit? I want mercy, not sacrifice. In other words, the sacrifice, even the sacrifice of the Mass, the most sublime that we can offer, is only as pleasing to God as it is joined with mercy, which means that I love in spite of the fact that nature holds me back. Father Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and other information, visit our website at www.apostleshipofprayer.org.